Hello and welcome to episode two of our series of discussions about how Ricoh has helped our customers digitally transform. With me again, I'm joined by uh, Chris Gummins. Uh, welcome, Chris. Hi, Ed. Today, we're talking about working with uh, a large retailer and uh, BM stores. And tell us a little bit about them. Yeah, sure. So, BM are predominantly northern based companies, so uh, north, northwest. Um, presence in the South England as well, Southwest. Um, they're what you call a, a variety retailer. So if you're not not familiar with B&M, um, they, they've got large stores. They sell lots of different things. So kids' toys right through to food. So hence variety retailer. Um, they employ around 28,000 staff in the UK. Um, and they have around 600 sites as well. So big presence on the high street. Okay, so when you first engaged with them, uh, what did you discuss and what did you uncover? Primarily, B&M has historically been an account with Rico that, that has been print related. So we spoke to them around a number of solutions that we had in our portfolio. Um, we engaged several different departments uh, and we hit upon an area around their human resources, uh, which really resonated and made them kind of sit up and take notice. So that process in itself was the amount of time it took to actually, once they'd offered a new employee a contract, how long it actually took to get that employee into the workplace. So, How long were we talking? So that's a good question. Um, four weeks. Wow. So you go and have your interview, you're successful, um, the time it takes to send out the paperwork and all the various different contracts and the checks that were needed to be done, you're looking at four weeks to get a new staff And member. this was because? So a number of things. So um, seasonal staff, so obviously as you can imagine, uh, run-ups to things like Easter holidays, Christmas holidays, they need to get a lot more staff in to cope with that volume. Um, but more importantly than that, it's the number of checks that we take in place. So things like CRB checks, right to works, copies of driving licenses, uh, all, all the traditional uh, HR collateral that you need to, to start a new position. Um, and this was all manually done as well? Yeah, so, so they'd print out the contracts, they'd print out your, um, your employment contract, they'd send all of that information out to your home address, Again, huge cost around that as well, and that seasonally goes up and goes down. Um, so the cost of stamps, the cost of paper, the cost of ink, etc., etc. But I imagine ultimately they were losing uh, employees because of the length of time it was yeah. taking. We see this with other customers as well. You know, where they find good staff that they, that they want to bring into the business, but the time it takes them to actually go through that onboarding and that contracting piece, somebody else has snapped up that person. So you, you know, you're losing talent to ultimately your uh, your competitors and all just because of process. Yeah, exactly that. So once you'd uncovered that pain, what was next? Right, okay, so we, we did what we normally do with, with a, these customer engagements. So we had, a, we had a very granular sort of discovery consultancy period. So we, we went in, we looked at all that, that process from end to end. Um, we looked at the time it took um, to produce the documents and, and then also the time it actually took to get those documents back in. Um, we realised that we had tools within our portfolio um, that have also been deployed in other large organisations, uh, UK and globally, um, to onboard new staff members. So we created a demonstration. So we, we mocked up that process using uh, digital forms. Um, we've also then put some workflow around that as well. So as a, as a new employee joins the business, they're interacting with an electronic form. That's then going into a workflow. So the right people within B&M were being alerted to the fact that, you know, this person was starting the business and they had an action to take place to allow that to happen. So, so, so once, you know, obviously you did this process and they obviously liked it because yeah. they installed and you, we developed the, the whole deal. Um, they got some real gains, I assume, but what are we looking at here? So originally it was a four-week process. Well, now. yeah, I mean, the headline really for, for B&M was that what was taken conservatively four weeks um, as, as, a, as the old process, they were now managing to facilitate in a matter of hours. So, so really top-end two days um, from offer of contract to, to actually getting an employee contracted into their business. Okay, so we managed to onboard our solution based on this single process. Yeah. But of course... Our solutions could do so much more. I mean, what's next for BNM? Well, ironically, as part of this process, um, they identified that the same tool set and the same technologies could be utilised elsewhere in their business. So although, yes, we've, we've helped them solve the HR onboarding process, we've also helped them around their accounts payable uh, issues as well. I, I imagine there's a lot of invoices coming into BNM. Yeah, a huge amount. 
huge amount of invoices, which again was, was a, a, a very manual process, which we've been able to use in our tools, create an electronic workflow, um, an approval process so that those invoices are now managed in a more timely manner. But the, the headline for B&M is that obviously by being able to pay their suppliers quicker, they're able to negotiate a better supply discount. And as a, as a, as a small margin business, um, that's incredibly uh, useful for them. Yes, and so from one single little problem, we've now managed to move into other areas of the yeah. business and help them solve these process issues across there. Yeah. That's fantastic. Is this something we see in other companies that we move from one area All to another? Time. All the time. So we, we find this a lot where we engage where we think the customer has an issue and the customer thinks they have an issue, but invariably we find that that's not really their issue. It's part of um, a series of issues. So where we generally tend to start isn't where we necessarily end up. Finish. So we become partners for life almost. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much, Chris. So we hope what you've heard today is very useful. If you want to read in a little bit more detail, down in the comments uh, you'll find a link to the full case study. Please read it. Um, if anything resonates here, please feel free to get in touch with your Rico account manager or Chris and I directly. And we'll happily be able to talk to you about your own processes. We understand that every company is bespoke, but we're just hoping that by showing, showcasing some of these areas where we've helped other people will be of use to you. Um, stay tuned for the next uh, episode in the series, which should be coming shortly. Thank you very much for watching.